Hi, hello, welcome to home school. This is your class 8 mathematics NCRT or CBSC board. Today in this session, we are going to start with first chapter playing with numbers. Now let's see next game. Now it's a Sundaram turn to play some tricks with Meenakshi. Right? And this game we write it as reversing the digits. And here it is three digit number. Till now we have seen two digit number. Now in this game we are going to see three digit number. Okay. Now Sundaram starts asking Meenakshi. What he says? Think about a three digit number. First question. Sundaram asked to Meenakshi, choose a three digit number. Okay, don't reveal that number. So he won't say for anybody. So let us write. For understanding sake, I am writing that Sundaram don't know this number. Okay, next step. Reverse the three digit number. Reverse this three digit number. Reverse means one, two, three. From reverse order you write three. Two, one. Okay. Third step, what he says? Subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. Meenakshi will do subtraction. Which three digit number is smaller? 123. So in 321, subtract 123. Okay. One, you cannot take out three. So take a borrow. 11. 11 minus 3, it will be 8. And here you are left with 1. Again take a borrow, 11, 11 minus 2 will be 9 and here you are left with 2, 2 minus 1, 1. Now, fourth step, what the total you got now, divide that total by 99. Okay, so now Meenakshi starts dividing 198 with 99. So 99 twos are how much? Uh, 198. Yes, there is no reminder. So what does Sundaram say? There is no reminder. Yes, Meenakshi also felt, oh, how it is possible. How can Sundaram say that there is no reminder? Okay, I got there is no reminder. But how is it possible? This trick we are going to reveal by taking a three digit number as A. B, C. Write this in general form. 100A. A is in hundreds place. 100A plus 10B plus C. Okay. Now reverse the digits. C, B, A. Write this general form. 100C plus 10B plus A. Now. Which one is greater? C A A B C C B A. A and this C you need to compare, right? If A is greater than C. If A is greater than C, what we can do? Directly we can subtract A B C minus C B A. Now write this one. 100 A plus 10B plus C, we are subtracting. When we are subtracting, use bracket. 100C plus 10B plus A. Remove from brackets. 100A plus 10B plus C minus 100C minus into plus minus 10B minus into plus minus a. Now 100A minus A will be 99A. 10B minus 10B cancel. 10B, 10B cancel. And here plus C minus 100. See there. So this one plus 1 minus 100 means it is minus 99C. 99 take out A minus C. Now this value, what do you want when you subtract this value, divide it with 99. Divide this with 99. You are left with A minus C. This is only the quotient, but this is not the reminder. So what is the reminder? Reminder will be 0. Okay. 
So what you can see? Again the reminder is zero. In this way if you want you can ask any of your friend three digit number ask them to reverse and subtract the smaller number and ask them to divide with 99 say that there is no reminder. Yes. Now we can take if C is greater than A before we have solved A is greater than C. Now let me write C is greater than A. How can I do this three digit number minus this we are going to do that is CBA minus ABC. CBA 100C plus 10B plus A minus put in brackets 100A plus 10B plus C. Okay. Now remove from brackets 100C plus 10B plus A minus 100A minus 10B minus into plus minus C. So now let us see start from here C 100C minus C 99C and 10B minus 10B cancel or 10 minus 10 will be 0 no? So next A minus 100A it will be 99 minus 99A. Now take out 99 common C minus A you are left. Okay then your next step divide with 99. So what happens? You are left with C minus A. This is the quotient. There is no reminder. Is this clear? Now let's see the next game. Forming three digit numbers with given three digits. Now it's Meenakshi turn to ask Sundaram. Okay. So now Meenakshi says, Sundaram choose a three digit number. What is the first question she says? She asked him to choose a three digit number. Okay, Sundaram won't reveal the number. But to understand, I will write here. Sundaram has taken 123. Okay, and now she says, rearrange the three digit number. Suppose if you have taken three digit number as ABC. Okay, rearrange this number. How? C number bring this side. That is C A B. Now bring this C value A B C right. C value is 3. 3 bring this side and again frame 3 digit number. 3 1 2. Okay. This is C A B. If you want you can write here C A B. And again she says. Now again rearrange this number. In such a way, this B number should come this side. That means B, C, A. B number bring this side means 2, 31. Okay. B, C, A. Now, next step. Add, add these three three digit numbers. Okay, let us start adding. Forget about these letters. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. So the total what you got? 666. And now Meenakshi says what the total you got now? For that you divide by 37. Okay, next step what did she say here? Divide it with 37. Now let us start dividing 616 divide by 37. 616 if you divide with 37 and your quotient will be 80 and this will be again 0. Now Meenakshi says to Sundaram, Sundaram is your reminder 0? Yes, Sundaram is shocked. How it is possible? Let us reveal this trick how it will be possible. Sundaram have taken three digit number as ABC. Write it in general form. 100A plus 10B plus C. And next, write this in CAB, this three digit number rearranged. Again, this general form 100C plus 10A plus B. Now again rearrange BCA. 
Write this in general form. 100B plus 10C plus A. Okay. Now add all these. If you add ABC plus CAB plus BCA. If you add, you get 100A plus 10B plus C plus 100C plus 10A plus B plus 100B plus 10C plus A. Now add all A's. 100A, 10A, A. It will be 111A. 10B, B, 100B. 111B and again all C's if you add. 111C. Now take out common. 111 is common. A plus B plus C. This 111, I can split it as 37 3 sir. Now when you divide the sum with 37, what happens? 37, 37 cancel. And what the value you are left with is a quotient. And there is no remainder. Is this clear? Yes. In this way, if you do, you are going to get the answer. Suppose now if you divide with this 37, your remainder will be 0. Right? Like this, every game you have a try this box. In that four sub questions will be there. If you want, you can try those and you can enjoy. Yes? Yeah? If you solve these all questions, you definitely will enjoy with this playing with numbers. With this, I am going to end my session. In our next session, we are going to continue with next exercise. Until then, keep watching. Thank you all.